everyone. Thanks for watching. I have another schwa unboxing for you. If you don't know what schwa is, I'll leave the links to my previous schwa unboxings below so you can get a better understanding of it. For this box, I decided to try out all Tom Ford beauty products. The first one here is Tom Ford Traceless Perfecting Foundation, and I got the shade TF Tawny. I'm going to first swipe and dot the foundation all over my face, and then I'm going to use an oval brush to blend it all out. If you're interested in seeing an in-depth review of this brush, please see the description box below for the link. I did a review on it in my last video. I think I did really well in selecting this shade for my skin tone, so if you have similar skin color to me, I think this would be a good match. Maybe going one shade darker or one shade lighter, depending on what other products you put on your face. I am liking the way my skin looks with the foundation. I'm just gonna put a little bit more to see if I can build it up, and then again, blend it out with the oval brush. So far so good, I like the coverage. It's not too full, it's definitely buildable, but I like that you can still see my skin. And I like that this foundation has a yellow undertone to it. That's what I look for in a foundation. This next product is the Tom Ford Translucent Finishing Powder in the shade Sahara Dusk. This pretty much matches my exact skin tone. The sample pan is so small, I'm just trying to use my kabuki brush so that I can get enough product on it and then onto my face. I am absolutely loving this shade. Next, I have the Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Power Duo, and this is in the shade Moonlight. So on one side, I have a bronzing shade, and on the other side, I have a highlighting shade. I was a little concerned that the bronzer might be either too light or my exact skin tone, but here I am just trying to build up the color and warm up my face a little bit, and it looks like it's working. I really love that this bronzer is more of a cool toned shade. I think it really complements my skin. And now I'm going in with the highlighter shade. This highlighter isn't as pigmented as I thought it was going to be, like some other highlighters where you dust it on your skin and it's like bam in your face highlight. This is very subtle. I had to kind of put a lot of product on my brush and then swipe it onto my skin and it still wasn't giving me the highlight effect that I was looking for. Next I have the Tom Ford Cheek Color and this is in the shade Ravish. I am in love with this shade. It is not completely matte. It looks like it has a tiny, tiny bit of shimmer, but it just looks so beautiful on the skin. And finally, I have Tom Ford's lip color in Blush Nude. This is such a perfect nude peachy tone that I find is great for my skin tone. I'm just gonna apply it with a lip brush and I'm not gonna use a lip liner or anything because I just wanted to see the true color of this lipstick and I am loving it. I decided to finish the rest of my makeup using the products that I got. So here I'm just using the finishing powder on my eyelids. And then I'm going to use the highlighting shade on my lids for a little bit of sparkle. And here is the finished look. Unfortunately, I didn't have the opportunity to film a review at the end of the day. I did wear this makeup for about nine hours. 
It all held up pretty well. I would have to say my favorite out of all of these samples is probably the finishing powder in Sahara Dusk. I really like the shade and the lipstick color, which is Blush Nude, I am in love with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.